Oh, hi there. Uh, I wanted to make a quick video on um, the false ballistic missile warning given via text message and broadcasted on Hawaii television. I'll try to make this video quick. I mean it this time. <laughs> anyway, there's a couple of points I want to run through. One, some people would consider this um, fake news. I do not. I consider it an alternate fact because a ballistic missile, particularly aimed at Hawaii, uh, is very plausible. Uh, anywhere on the mainland uh, is possible, um, whether it be from the Atlantic or the Pacific, as far as North America goes. Um, the United States and Canada, and to a lesser extent Mexico, do not have the submarine capability to physically enforce um, any incursions from foreign military powers. And with the rise of undetectable nuclear submarines, one could um, easily come into Hudson Bay, um, Gulf of Mexico, any of those places. Um, it's my personal belief that when undetectable nuclear submarines first came about, it was the Chinese who had invented one because there's those stories of them mocking the uh, American Navy. Uh, but I also think that um, if the United States follows suit with what they normally do, uh, pretty much they'd go over there and punch them in the kidneys and make them tell them how they uh, built such a thing. Not that I think Silicon Valley wouldn't have been able to build one themselves at some point. Uh, I'm sure a little fire under their feet sped up that process. Anyway, um, there have been times where nuclear war was very possible. I mean, it's been long since determined that that would be mutually assured destruction, but the threat was there. And I don't think it was necessarily there today, but it could have been there a few months ago, a few years ago, could be a few years down the road, could be anything. And people need to be aware of that. That's what makes it an alternate fact, not fake news. Um, probably just some saber rattling, and it was probably from the Chinese. I don't think the Russian Federation has much interest. Uh, you know, they don't have any immediate problems, whereas China has plenty of immediate problems as far as resources, uh, economic, and all kinds of things. They are the number one terror in the world, despite what the internet says with the United States or Israel or whatever. You know, you hear all that kind of stuff all the time on mainstream media and particularly on the internet. Uh, Hawaii uh, is actually not particularly far from the United States, um, 2,400 miles, uh, you know, it's some distance, but it's not that not that far really. Uh, it's strategically placed. Uh, there is American military base there, which is pretty important. Not a, not a very big country, or you know, not a very big you know used to be country, and now it's part of the United States really. Uh, but it it really extends the reach of Asia, saying, "Look, we can come this far, and there's not much the United States government can do about it." Uh, because it's really just a big game of chicken. Uh, and, you know, you have to look at things from certain points of view, like what kind of advantages certain people have and certain countries have. Uh, Chinese population, much larger than the United States, and if you want to include Canada and Mexico, even them, it's still like a pittance. And the thing is, um, you may go, well, it doesn't really make that much of a difference with ballistic missiles in mind, and new radar systems, uh, EMP shock waves, and all that sort of stuff. Okay, that's all considered, but consider this. How many people do you know would actually voluntarily get into a submarine and basically go on a suicide mission? Because uh, unfortunately, <laughs> submariners, uh, you know, there's actual conflict. It's uh, pretty dodgy business. And I think most people know that. And just the fear of going into a metallic beast and going deep into the water uh, is enough to put most people off. But supposing, supposing you are growing up on a military base, supposing you're with 30, 40, 50,000 comrades who have been educated not to be afraid of that. You've grown up your entire life 
not knowing the fear or anything wrong with being a submariner or going into a submarine. You've been indoctrinated. Maybe you don't even have a concept of death um, or fear of being tortured or you know any of that stuff. Uh, it's less likely that there's any significant number of people that are trained in that way in North America. I mean, that's just not how we do things over there. We, we like to think we're a bit more normal than that. But over in Asia, where there's a billion and a half people, I guarantee you there's probably a hundred thousand soldiers out there that are, you know, could turn kamikaze just like that uh, because they've been programmed to think a certain way, believe in certain things, and there's no way you can talk them out of it. As a matter of fact, we probably wouldn't even know the language to talk to them because there are a lot of words in uh, uh, Mandarin and Cantonese that uh, we don't actually know the meanings of. And, um, you know, a lot of people who live there can't actually properly speak the language, not with any kind of authority anyway. It's kind of the same over here in North America. You, you find a lot of people can't speak English properly, don't know how to talk, don't know how to say something, and it means something. Anyway, those are all factors. But, um, like, the biggest deterrent, I think, from undetectable uh, nuclear submarines is EMP. Uh, that would fry most technological things in the area. Of course, you know, it's going to kill everything else in the water as well, but that would be enough to stop, you know, 300, 500 uh, submarines from showing up. And I'm sure since the Americans have gone over there and acquired that information on how to build those particular submarines, there's probably people in China that would have willingly sold it to them or even given it to them just because uh, there's a lot of internal fighting uh, in the government in, in Asia, in China. Um, it's the same with every government. There's always people who disagree, don't like each other, hate each other, blah, 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 blah. And it interferes with anything getting done. So, yes, there, there is, uh, you know, people who will um, flood the world with information that uh, will be contradictory to their own government. Obviously, you know, they probably make a beeline out of there afterwards, but I don't know, that's all cloak and dagger. We don't know what's going on there. But just to sum this up, um, I don't think there's any specific threat for Hawaii today, but uh, probably has been many a time before, and it just wasn't mentioned. I mean, you don't really need to hear about it beforehand if it destroys you anyway, no matter what you do. <laughs> uh, you're, um, you're up the creek on that one. That there's you know, nothing you can do. Uh, at least if it's destroyed and you're not told about it, at least there's no time to be scared. Pretty shitty way to look at it, but uh, if you can think of a better way to look at it, I'd like to hear it. Anyway, I'm uh, going to finish up this video. Talk to you guys later. Have a good one.